Hi everybody, well we've done it, we're through to the quarterfinals. Can you believe it, with Gareth Southgate sorting out the penalties. Talk about full circle, fantastic. Welcome to this week's edition of Property Chat. This week I want to talk to you about rent guarantee. Stand by. Hi everybody, this week we're talking about rent guarantee, something for landlords that is a very big subject. The biggest risk that you run when you rent any property in the UK is that the tenant doesn't actually pay their rent. Um, and if your agents are careful, as we are, it's unlikely to happen, but when it does, it's not as easy as you might expect to evict the tenant and can take a considerable amount of time and a loss of funds in the meantime. So the answer is rent guarantee, but that doesn't really answer the whole question because actually rent guarantee can mean a number of things depending on who you're talking to. We use an insured scheme. Now what that means is that the insurers will pay out if the tenant stops paying their rent and will continue to pay the rent up until the tenant is evicted. They'll also pay for the legal procedure around that. That is what we use as a rent guarantee. Now there are other agencies that have rent guarantee systems where they'll actually take the property from you on a tenancy agreement and then set up sub-tenancies with others within your property. Obviously they're paying you a lower rent than they're obtaining from the various tenants. The problem with this strategy in my view is that agents are then incentivized to maximize the rental of the property and the way they do that quite often is by renting it by the room. And then you're in this position where your room is, your house is probably over occupied. This can cause all sorts of legal issues. And quite often these agents will give you free rent guarantee, um, money from day one, this kind of thing. But the reality is that they're getting money the other way. The other thing that they do quite often that can be a real issue for people is they just put in any tenants that they like, because in the end, those tenants are then just claiming benefits and they don't really care as long as they start getting the money through. Uh, the most important thing is, regardless of whether your tenants are on benefits or private professionals, is that they're, they're referenced and they're solid and likely to pay your rent and be reliable. Uh, that comes out of your control if you sign over your property to a third party, so I would urge caution on signing your property over to a third party. The other kind of rent guarantee scheme is offered by local authorities and housing associations. These will take over your property and then give you a lower than market value rent, usually considerably lower, and then promise to give it back to you normally on a five year term and if there's any damage they will then repair that damage. And I would say weigh that scheme up against what you could get on the private rental market often more, and bear in mind of course that with rent increases over a five year term, the rent that seems reasonable now is highly likely to be much, much higher five years from now. So what seems like a fairly good deal from a housing association can actually shortchange you considerably in the longer term. So rent guarantee, one of those subjects then that goes around many connotations. The other thing to look for is agents that are saying no commission, zero commission. So realistically, any estate agency is a business and they're gonna be making money somehow. The sorts of ways they can do it are, some local authorities will incentivize and pay estate agents to introduce housing benefit tenants into their property. These incentives can be considerable. Locally, we're talking up to £4,000 for taking on a housing benefit tenant from certain local authorities. So the agency can then take that money, introduce a tenant to you, and they've freely let your property. Well, in fact, they've taken £4,000 from the local authority. And finally, where agents are looking to make money in other ways, we find quite often that they're looking to make money by creating maintenance tasks that are non-existent. And this is a big issue. So you might receive no collection fees on your rent, but massive bills every month for maintenance issues that are non-existent. So make sure if you're selecting a rental agent that you know they're trustworthy, research them, make sure they have fidelity bonding so that if they go bust, your money doesn't go with them. We of course are. Make sure that there are the members and make sure that their reputation is 100% because in the end, this is probably your biggest asset, or if not so, it's certainly a substantial asset of yours and one you're relying on for an income quite possibly. So be very, very careful when you're talking about rent guarantee. If you'd like to discuss it further, then please do drop us an email or remark under the video. Thanks very much for watching this week. Have a great weekend. Up the England. Let's get in those semi-finals. Take care.